Did I just find the skinniest house in Washington, D.C.? Look at this. That's the whole house. So this is the outside of the property right here. Look at how ridiculously tiny this is. This is hilarious. I can't believe this is even a home here in Washington, D.C. We never have this. I don't know if we have this anywhere else. You're back here in a little bit of, uh, of an alleyway here. There's people moving out right now, so that's why the moving truck is here. But this is a wide alley. It goes all the way through. You can go either direction. If you go this way, you're going right out to the Shaw Howard Metro. You're only one block away from that, so you're close to absolutely everything. The walkability is fantastic. This is a public driveway, so uh, you're able to walk up here to get into the entrance of your home. There's also this back patio area, which I will show you. There's no parking with this property because where would you put it, you know? But um, there is a street right here where you'd be able to park. So let's head back here. Although it's super skinny, it runs back the length of this. This was a, a an odd lot that a guy owned and he sold it to this developer um, as a bit of a favor. And he was like, if you want this lot, I'll give it to you. If you can build something on, on it, go ahead. And the developer and the architect actually pulled it off. It's absolutely insane. Look at the little mailbox there. Head right back here. So you walk down this long driveway here and all on the outside here is really nice actually, this hardy plank. I don't know if this developer, he must have a background in luxury property, new construction, because the materials he used on the property are actually really nice. Small, tiny little house, packs a lot of punch, but the siding is great. These, these signs are so fun. Here's your entrance, your grand entrance. <laughs> and then here we go. Look at this. It's so nice though. I mean, just a skinny, tiny little house, but so nice. LG appliances going throughout. The cabinetry is beautiful. It's not cheap cabinetry. It's really nice. Soft clothes, heavy, thick panels, quartz countertops, full out uh, honeycomb backsplash going throughout. You've got a, it's, either, it's probably a luxury, um, uh, luxury tile that's going through here, but it doesn't seem that way. It almost, it seems very similar to an engineered um, hardwood. Eat-in kitchen. A great use of this bay window space. You have lighting, recessed lighting that goes throughout every single bay area and, and bump out. So that's really nice to light that up. But to use this as a, an eating kitchen and bar, fantastic. There's so much light in this house because it's so thin. You have light bouncing through the whole way down. And once you get to the end, you have light on that side as well. So this is really a, a bright, bright and cheery home. Ceiling height is nine feet. So it doesn't feel small. I can't believe, this is 500 square feet, by the way. It's a one bedroom, uh, one and a half bath home with 500 square feet. But look at the space here. Huge framing for a sliding door. And it's this outdoor patio is absolutely wonderful. And it stretches the whole, the whole uh, length of the property. Look, it goes all the way back here, stretches back there. And then you have this nice little seating area out here. They've run the, the patio decorative lights. A nice little touch, obviously nothing crazy, but such a nice touch for a space like this. That's perfect for summer and spring nights. You actually do have a condenser unit here. I'll show you. Well, it's a, I'm, I'm not particularly sure of the exact type of unit it is, but I'll show you how it attaches to uh, the cooling and heating units in here. Little doggy area, storage underneath the underneath the stairwell here. I apologize for my sniffles. I think the allergies are getting me. You're going to see these these units all throughout the home in different sections uh, of the house, and they're going to be providing you both your cooling as well as your heating. It is very hot outside today, and I can tell you, it feels like a brand new AC is in this house. It's very very comfortable. your back living family room. Now, this is gonna be the biggest portion of the house and from bump out of that window to bump out of this window, 
you have 10 and a half feet of space, okay? The majority of the home is eight feet, but this part is 10 feet across. So luxury living, okay? <laughs> Look at this cool little desk they put here. If you're working from home, you have a desk and it's again, you utilizing this bump out. What a creative and excellent use of space so that you're not interrupting this space as well. It doesn't feel cluttered. If you put a chair here, you have a laptop or mul multiple monitors. This is not a small countertop here. Wonderfully designed. Okay, let's head back right over here. There is a half bath here, tucked in. We got a tiny little sink. I love it. Great touch adding black uh, banisters and, and black gloss paint to the steps of the floors. Really adds a little bit of a pop. It would be a little bit more boring if they were just white. Here's your owner suite primary bedroom. It's not small. It's really not. It's not small. For this home to be the size that it is, this is a large bedroom, bigger than a lot of the condos that I see. And remember this, this property is going for just about the same price as our new construction condos in the area. So this one, you have no condo fee and you have a whole house to yourself. Same price as a condo and new construction. Okay, I don't even know if you're prepared for this. Check out this bathroom. It's like a luxury bath. I don't even know how they pulled this off. Look at this. Who would have seen this coming? This is what instantly gave it away that I was like, this guy builds luxury properties because he's using elements, design schemes, and materials from luxury properties in this tiny little home. Floor to ceiling, marble tile here. Surrounds the whole shower. Check this out. And then right back here, you have your washer dryer and then the water, uh, the water heater tucked in back here. There's also a, a patio door here. And if you look down, they don't have anything here. It's just a gate, right? But you could build one of Juliet and have this bump out. As you can see, the fence line, the property line is out there. So you would be able to bump out to the degree or to the measurement of how far the property line goes out. So you can make a little Juliet step out balcony here.